This is Bob Schroyer of Nancy's Knitnacks. This short video will review our new Row Counter Plus, which is pictured on the right in this image, and the Boy Row Counter. Nancy's Knitnacks used to sell the original Row Counter Plus years ago. During that time, we had sold over 10,000 units. We then discontinued the product for a variety of reasons, but mainly because it had some shortcomings which we found were unacceptable. During late 2012, we started to work with the manufacturer to address the design issues which we previously identified. We have now finalized that design and have decided to relaunch the Row Counter Plus. This video compares our new design to Boy's Row Counter. Both units can keep track of three projects at the same time by allowing the user to maintain three separate counts. Each counter on the display is numbered 1, 2, and 3. So when the user is adding or subtracting to their count on a project, that project is assigned a counter number. The user can rotate the counts and work on one project at a time. Our original Row Counter Plus led the way with this form of managing three projects at a time in 2005. At some point after we left the market in 2009, the Boy product was introduced with the identical set of features. Our new Row Counter Plus has new and exciting features, however. These are the features that we knew we needed in order to have the best counter available. On our unit, the user can now turn the counter off and save battery power. As a result, battery life has been extended from 18 to 36 months. A new battery holder prevents accidental rebooting and data loss, which the original Row Counter Plus had an issue with. The user can now save their data. Whenever they turn the unit off, their data is saved automatically. Plus, when the unit is off, none of the four buttons can be actuated and their counts are preserved even if their buttons get accidentally pressed while the unit is in the knitting bag. The boy cannot be turned off nor can it protect the user's data. Display size. The display size of our unit is very large as you can see. In fact, its square area is about two and a half times larger than boys. Our character sizes are almost twice as large as well. As a result, the row counter plus is much easier to read. Button size. The buttons on our unit are designed for adult fingers. They are large and nicely spaced out. The rotate and reset buttons are even recessed and cannot be accidentally pressed. Both counters have similar force requirements for depressing the buttons. Although they both provide a solid feel, the larger buttons on our unit feel better when using. Lanyards. Both counters provide a detachable lanyard which is handy if the user does not care to use a lanyard. The Row Counter Plus lanyard measures 23 inches and is heavy duty as you can see. That's the one on the right. The boy lanyard is light duty and measures 18 inches. However, the boy unit is oriented correctly on the lanyard and is easier to view when hanging from the lanyard. As you can see here, the boy has the attachment point on the lanyard or on the uh, counter at the bottom, which means this can hang from your neck and then you just flip up the unit and can view the numbers. That's much more convenient than what ours is uh, designed to do. Ours is, is attached at the top, so you have to flip the unit around when you want to view the screen. But because of that, we provide additional length in the lanyard, approximately in another 5 inches of length. Oh, here's a close-up of the uh, boy. You see you have small buttons down here. Um, I indicated in my discussion a moment ago that ours were designed for adults. Um, and the reason for that is that unit was designed for the Japanese railroad system. Uh, people working on the railroad were using uh, our counter for a variety of functions, we're told, by the manufacturer. So they were designed for a adult's hand to be used. These uh, buttons on the uh, boy are pretty small and they're very closely spaced. Uh, they work fine. They have a nice solid feel. There's no problem there. They have the same beeping capability as uh, our unit. But they're just kind of small and they're closely spaced together. So um, you know, you'd have to try them to see which one you prefer. But we think the larger display and the larger buttons make a, uh, a nicer experience for the user. Price. The manufacturer suggested retail price for the boy unit is $14.95. The MSRP for our row counter plus has not been set yet, but should be in the $25 to $30 range. So if the user wants an easy to view counter with a large display and wants to save their data and turn their unit off, then our new Row Counter Plus is the preferred unit. If the user is primarily interested in a low price, then the boy is a preferred unit. 
Hopefully this video provides the user with some key comparison data with which to make this decision. Oh, one final point. On the Row Counter Plus unit, the four buttons will have different colors. Uh, this is a pre-production uh, model right now and does not have those buttons colored, nor does it have our logo on the screen, but uh, that, or those additional changes rather, will be in the final production. That production is due to be available in July of 2013. Here's a close-up of the Row Counter Plus. You know, every time you depress this large button, it adds to the count. When you press the small button below it, it subtracts from the count. If I press this button over here, it'll rotate the numbers uh, clockwise on the screen, and the number one counter is in, is in the primary position right now. If I push it again, it rotates that number out to the left and up. If I hold this button down for three seconds, it turns the unit off and saves the data. So now if I press these buttons while the unit is off, nothing happens. If I hold this button down for three seconds, it comes back on and the data is still there without being changed during the period of time that it was off. Once again, I turn it off, save the data, press these buttons, as you can see nothing's happening. Press it on again, the data is back, and I can change the count. This button over here resets the count. As you can see, it went to zero. Again, I can rotate all the way around. I can turn that beeper off by holding this button down for three seconds. Now when you press a button, there's no beep. Both units have that feature. In fact, both units have identical features, primarily because whoever's manufacturing the boy unit essentially copied the original Row Counter Plus design when they came out with that model and uh, they made some good choices. What they didn't know, however, were these improvements that we were planning on making, which is the data saving and the powering off function. So this unit should be available in July of 2013, and uh, you can get it from your local yarn shops or online merchant or directly from Nancy's at Next. Thank you very much.